Hi guys, it's time to get designing, prototyping, and building. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to build a paper airplane with space for at least one passenger. You must safely send your airplane and passenger a distance of at least six feet. Mission accepted. Mission accepted. Mission accepted. What materials should I use today? Hmm, let's see. I'm starting with paper because I'm making a paper airplane. I have different kinds of paper because I want to test which kind flies best. I also found some paper clips. This should be enough to make a great flying device. I also have some beads here, which will be my passenger. If you don't have beads, that's okay. Use a paper clip or something similar in weight. I've got copy paper, newspaper, and an old manila folder. I'm not sure what my passenger will be yet though. That's okay, we can get started without a passenger for now. Remember, the engineering design process begins with brainstorming and designing. What do you want to do first? I'm gonna look up how to make paper airplanes on the internet. There are lots of patterns, and I'm not sure which one I want to use. You could make several different patterns and test all of them, or you could pick one pattern and then test it with several different types of paper, or you could make a paper airplane design of your own. Great idea. I'm gonna make three designs. I'm gonna make the same plane with three kinds of paper. It sounds like you guys are well into your engineering design process. The next step is to build and test your designs. Try to test indoors if possible, because windy conditions make for difficult flights. Start by measuring about six feet out on the floor and marking the start and stop points. You can put something down in each spot that marks it for you, like a pencil, toy, shoe, or whatever you have handy. Then test your airplane. Don't forget to put your passenger in it. Mine flew the whole way, but it landed upside down and my passenger fell out. My passenger was fine, but my plane didn't fly far enough. Great test flights. What can you do to improve your designs? Does your passenger need a more protected spot? Does your plane need more weight, less weight, or maybe a different shaped wing? It's time to iterate. I did it. My plane flew the whole way and my passenger stayed inside. Mine did too. How can we up this challenge? Remember, engineering is all about asking questions, building, testing, asking more questions, and testing again. Here are some questions to ask yourself as you design, build, and test your prototypes. If you had access to any building material, what would you use and why? What makes your airplane fly straighter? What makes it fly higher? Want a bigger challenge? Try these ideas. Can your plane carry two passengers or more? Can you duplicate your flight using a different kind of paper? Can you adjust your design to make your plane fly farther, straighter, or higher? Can you make a flying device out of different materials? Now it's your turn. Find your building materials, brainstorm a solution, then design, build, and test. But most of all, have some fun with engineering. You can share what you build on Facebook using hashtag the tech challenge. All right.